Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to ITW 2024. We are streaming live from the show floor. Such an exciting kickoff to again, day two. It's uh, it's happening guys, it's, it's real. This is JSA TV, JSA podcast, your news source for all digital infrastructure headlines. I am Jamie Scott Okataya, CEO of JSA. Joining me here today, I am so excited to introduce you to Craig Venable. He is the Vice President of Commercial Sales over at Glow Fiber Business. Welcome, Craig. Thank you, Jamie. Great great to be here. Uh, we are so excited to get to know Glow Fiber Business a bit more. We see you guys across the way. Uh, of course. Uh, your fan yes. club watching, standing <laughs> by. Um, so let's start there. Tell us a little okay. bit about Glow Fiber Business. Sure. Glow Fiber Business uh, is our fiber brand for a company called Shentel otherwise known as uh, Shenandoah Telecommunications, who have actually been in business for over 120 years. And our mission is to serve more of the rural markets, Tier 2 and Tier 3, and we've always done that very well. Uh, we're based in the Mid-Atlantic area, so we cover about seven states to include Virginia, West Virginia, uh, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, and now we're going to talk a little bit about some exciting things that uh, we've got going on with an acquisition, which will now uh, push our network into Ohio and Indiana. Well, side note, I have a home in Shenandoah Valley, and I'm a client. That's <laughs> yeah. great. All right. So I love you. that. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So let's, let's go ahead and get to it. Glow Fiber and Glow Fiber Business recently completed a major acquisition of Horizon Network Partners. I love those guys. So mm -hmm. tell us a little bit. Sure, sure. Great fit for us. Uh, we're so excited about this. So Horizon brings a great commercial business. It about doubles our commercial business that we have today at Shentel. And it also brings a lot of other good stuff, right? So we get great resources, a great team coming over. So uh, we get to expand our expertise uh, in-house with great resources. We get to go from about 9,000 rap miles to 15,000 rap miles. So we're really expanding our network coverage. So that's great. For our partners, especially our wholesale and carrier partners who are interested in the data centers we're in, we're almost tripling our data center presence from wow. 15 to almost 50 everywhere from Chicago to Atlanta, D.C., Ashburn, Pittsburgh, you name it. We're in the places that our customers are looking for. So wow. we're really excited. They bring a, a culture very similar to us. They're customer first uh, mentality. So it's just a great fit for both of us. We, we really look forward to the synergies. Well, now I know why you have to you know, sort of shed the Shenandoah Valley roots because mm -hmm. you're glowing up. There you go. Now, Chicago, I love that. Like you're reaching, you're going far, <laughs> yes. far and wide. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, so what kind of new use cases or technologies, network needs is Glow Fiber business seeing in the market these days? Uh, lo lots of them. Um, I think some of the things that probably come top of mind is, as I, I mentioned, we serve a lot of the more rural markets, tier two and tier three. And we're seeing great bandwidth demand even from those markets. It's not just the NFL cities that are driving 40 gig and 100 gig service uh, right. requests. Now we're seeing it in some of the smaller markets. So that's happening. Security is uh, top of mind for everybody, keeping data yeah. secure. So we uh, love the fact that we have a great DDoS mitigation platform across our entire network. And we offered that to all of our customers uh, without charge because we believe in that so importantly. Uh, so we do that as well. And, and we also see a lot of uh, demand now for dark fiber, especially from our wholesale partners. And we've been fortunate enough to have a great network planning organization that has built dense networks in areas so we can evaluate those opportunities as they come up. So a lot of things all across the board. Those are just a few. Amazing. Amazing. All right. So just to close this out, one last question while you're sure. in my hot seat. Sorry, okay. Fred. I know it's early. I'll go easy. Oh, uh, it's good. Um, so my question is, what's next in the connectivity continuum? Mm. That's well, a big question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I didn't write it, so <laughs> I can't take but I'm very proud of that well, one. Well, I'll answer it this way. I, I think that the things we're looking at are, I just mentioned security. That's going to continue to be a really big area of us, and the demand from our commercial customers uh, is immense. So we're talking about that and expanding our portfolio there. Um, we're interested to, to continue to expand our network. Uh, so we're building fiber every day to continue to provide low lat latency, world-class networks, supported by our operations teams that are in market. Uh, our teams live in the markets we serve, so we're just so focused on local support. And I think the interesting wild card that many of us are talking about now is what is AI going to do to this business? Yes. The customers are, our customers are talking about it. 
How do we provide them a great network to support their AI efforts? And what is AI going to do for us? How is it going to change how we provide those world-class services to our customers? So that's just uh, something on the horizon that we're all really looking forward to. But we're excited to be here at ITW and talk about all these things with, with all of our great partners. So expansion, local love, and AI um, prep shall we say. Bingo. Yeah, I, I love it. Uh, absolutely. The, the topics on many people's minds as they walk the floor of ITW 2024. Craig, it was exceptionally exciting to get to chat with you to this morning. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you viewers for tuning in as we report to you live from the floor of ITW 2024. Happy networking. <laughs>